Um, I don't know anymore. Wet dog lice. <laughs> trying to give them some good examples, Bill. I can't think. Uh, ah, cracker. Everything litty, y'all love when it's hot. Yeah. Best of Bill Burr. White guilt. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> what am I supposed to say to that, Bill? White guilt. You feel guilty sometimes for being white? Is that what you're saying? You feel guilty. <laughs> Why you feel guilty? <laughs> it's what we need to find out. Follow me on everything in the description. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Merchandise in the description as well. It's different links. Best of Bill Burr. White guilt. Black guilt. <laughs> on the other side. I'm over here with you, Bill. Let's go. I don't know. I rented that movie, uh, Pride, recently. Have you guys seen that movie? Anybody see that? It's about the first all-black swim team and the difficulties they had to go it. through being the first all-black swim team. Let me ask you a question. How many of those white people are evil movies are they going to make? <laughs> it's like it's all the way down to swimming. <laughs> you know? I'm starting to run out of white guilt, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like those movies, they started off unbelievable. Started off with Roots, right? White guilt was at an all-time high. I could barely even watch it. I'm like, dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil, okay? Please, please turn the channel, dude. Please turn the channel. They still hitting them? Fuck, turn the channel. <laughs> this is going to be on all week. Oh, Jesus Christ, turn the channel. Lord. Hey, Bill. He said he's still hitting them. I, I feel like that, too. I feel black guilt. I don't even want I got to watch it. I got to watch it. <laughs> yeah, it, it. Those movies are out of control. They take it to the extreme. They put your eyes through. I, hey, <laughs> I'm running out of white guilt. I can't feel guilty for all these damn movies. <laughs> hey, Bill. In the 80s, there was like a football movie, then like Cuba Gooding wanted to be like a scuba diver. Remember that shit? <laughs> and now it's all the way down to swimming. And I got to admit, I don't think I give a fuck. <laughs> You know, I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's a recreational activity. Plus, I've been in pools. There's been black oh, people in the pool, you know? I never saw any white guy, like, trying to, like, fucking, like, prevent people from getting into the pool. <laughs> it's like, they just, like, making this shit up? I'm not, I'm not being hey, a dick here either, okay? Bill, you being a dick. Just to clarify, you know, I just don't want anybody coming up to me after the show like, you know, I was thinking it, and then you fucking said it, and then... <laughs> I'm not saying Bill. that I don't think black sh people should be allowed to put on some Speedos and go for a dip. I'm not saying that shit. I'm just saying he these movies, like the characters aren't even believable. Like they always have to have like that, the, the over the top, uninhibited white racist character, you know? You know that guy, he's a guy like, uh, he's supposed to represent all the white evil, you know? He's like the dude they always have like screaming during the movie trailer. They'd be like, they were the first all black swim team. Get out of the pool! <laughs> He's got like a big vein in his forehead. He's just screaming shit. Look, not even looking around, you know? You take it out of the pool. Oh. Dude, it's ridiculous. Real hey. racism is quiet. No. It's subtle. People look around first. That is how they have the movie set up, though. They always set it up in the beginning to draw you straight in. Boom. That's what the, the thing is, Bill. They want to hit you with the power out the gate. As soon as the movie come on, and there was a night. Then I, like... They, that's, they hit you with the power out the gate. Like, oh, that's how this is about to be. <laughs> Play. Uh, tune in. Make sure that... You know, go back a little bit. Quiet. It's subtle. People look around first. They make sure that... You know, they make sure the coast is clear. There's disclaimers. Like, dude, you know I'm not racist, but uh, these insert group name followed by fucked up conversation, right? <laughs> That's how it goes down. About? It's not just some guy <laughs> just standing up there. There's Negroes in the pool. Do you approve of this? I work at the bank. Can I be fired immediately, please? <laughs> I'm just saying, can you just make the shit, like, believable? You know what the honest thing is in those movies? They're starting to give me a complex. You know? Because anytime they do a movie about a group of people that thinks dumb shit, 
about another group of people, it's always like white dudes. So it's like, are white dudes the only ones who think ignorant shit about other people, you know? No Mexican guy ever walked up to somebody from India like, dude, what the fuck is that? Is that like itchy? Is that fuck you? What is that? White dudes the only ones walking around. Why well, you guys don't eat cows? You a bunch of fags. Oh. Well, then why are you wearing sandals? This guy's wearing sandals. This guy's a fag. <laughs> Just balance the movies out a little bit. Like, just have some of the evil shit that black people say about white people, you know, when, when we're not around, you know? Like, like, well, what are some good examples, you know? <laughs> you know, like, you know what I mean? You hang Yo, out. Did he just point at somebody? I gotta see who he pointed at. Did he just point at somebody black in the crowd and say, with some good example? And Bill, you out of control. <laughs> Bill, out of control, y'all. He popped the lid. He popped the lid, the screw came loose. Dude, he said, give me some good examples. Like, well, what are some good examples, you know? <laughs> you know, like, you know what I mean? You're hanging out, you had a rough day, you know? What are some of the classics? You know, what smell like wet dogs, right? Yeah, that's a number one classic. You got headlights or wow. something like that, right? Just... Wow! Not to pause it again, but yeah, those are the two. Not saying that I say them. Not saying that I said them. I've heard that they white people smell like, you know, Caucasian race, American, the Caucasian brand of people smell like wet dog. I heard that and then heard they got lice, you know, those are one of the good ones. You got lice, get out of here. Ah, something flying around you. Move. Bye. Um. I don't know anymore. Wet dog lice. <laughs> Trying to give them some good examples, Bill. I can't think. Uh, uh, cracker? I don't call. Or they say saltine. They call them saltine. <laughs> Man. I'm trying to give Bill some examples. You got headlights or something like that, right? Just Yeah, that's one of them. Just slip some of that shit in there. Get out of the pool. Wash your hair, motherfucker. Brian, just <laughs> make it seem a little more. <laughs> just slip that in there. Wash your hair. <laughs> Dude, I'm just saying, it's all the way down to Get out of the pool. Where the fuck do you go from there? Wash your hair, We do like ping pong. <laughs> They were the first all-black ping-pong team. They're gonna steal the paddles. Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter's not playing ping-pong. He said they were the first all-black ping-pong team. Go out there and show white man your band, ping-pong. They're gonna steal the paddles. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not saying that. Uh, oh, okay, that's not funny. <laughs> They're gonna steal the paddles. Hey, Bill cold-blooded, man. Bill cold blooded. Yeah, take a drink of water, Bill. No, I'm not. I'm not saying. Uh, I don't know. It's always just weird bringing this shit up. But no, I'm not saying white people aren't evil either. Cause I know we're evil. I got that evil in me. <laughs> I do. I guess so I, I got that evil it. in me. That's why I try to suppress it. <laughs> I try to dress casual. You know what I mean? I'm serious, man. I tried to suit on the other day. I felt it coming up. Like, fuck, man. I want to take over some shit, right? <laughs> I want to start telling people what to do. I want to go pollute a lake, blame it on my secretary, you know? <laughs> Put a suit on and change a whole mood, whole vibe. Dude, I don't even like those movies when they make black and white people get along, man. Even those ones seem ridiculous, you know? Because it always has to be like some sort of lesson in those movies. Just like, you know, I never looked at it that way. <laughs> it's like that never happens, you know? <laughs> Anytime I've ever hung out with a black dude, at no point during the evening has he like tried to like teach me how to dance, you know? You know hey, you got the wrong friend then. moment they always have to have in those movies. And I never go to his neighborhood and like try to like save a school, you know? How many times are they gonna make that movie? You know that movie? The white person goes into the projects. They just have to make a difference. All they do is hell yeah. You know, they just made that movie again with, uh, what was it, Hilary Swank? It's like, did you even need to go see it? It's like, let me guess, she shows up and they don't accept her, right? 
And she goes home, she cries to her effeminate boyfriend who's wearing sweatpants and he's cooking something for some reason, right? And he convinces her, he convinces her to give it one more chance, right? So then she goes back down there, she starts drawing out their inner beauty. Next thing you know, they put a do-rag on her, she starts fucking dancing. And it's just embarrassing the for all reasons involved. For the love of God, Save the last dance. Move. Save the last Dude, dance. Dude, the amount of times they made that movie, I would think I would know somebody white who actually did that shit, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, that's Mike. Yeah, he saves ghettos. That's what he does, you know? I sit around, I watch Sports Center. You know, he's in the projects every weekend. He's writing his name on the blackboard. My name's Mr. Michael. All right, who threw that? <laughs> who threw that? What the f it's just annoying after a while, you know? And it always fucking works out, too. Hey, it does. Anytime they get... the white person goes down there, I want to make that, I want to see a movie where it doesn't work out. Like the white dude goes down there the first day, just gets the shit kicked out of him, you know? <laughs> just leaving all negative. You can't fucking help these people, you know? You go down these there, people. you try to do oh. something nice, I couldn't get a goddamn word in. Man. It's just ran it all prescription. <laughs> I got black guilt now. I got black guilt. Because I watched all those movies that do that. I don't know what to say, Bill. <laughs> okay, so I see Bill says what he want to say, too. You know, a lot of comedians, you know, they try to dumb it down to, you know, go more of... You know, what well, global? I don't know. Or try to stay in between the sensitive meters. Bill Burr seems like he don't try to stay in between that meter. <laughs> That's the meter. Bill's up here. I'm here. Just like Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle don't care. They say what they want to say and shit. You get it? How you get it? You take it, it's sour to you, it's sour, it's sweet, sweet. You laugh, you laugh, you don't. Screw you. Call it Billology. <laughs> Damn. Any more Bill Burr? He a cold. I now I know why his last name is Burr. He cold blooded. Burr. <laughs> you get. He cold man. Cold dude. He cold. Cold hand. Cold. He got the cold hand on the land. Till next time, guys.